Hey, well, hello there. Not seen you for a while. Not on my own, anyway. Thanks very much for, uh, for joining me for a solo 50p hunt. And it's been that long, I'm going to have to go through the, the solo book um, painstakingly slowly, just so everybody knows what is what. So I've got £250 worth of 50 pences, and I've got a book in here, um, or in, in this book. There's plenty of spaces to be filled, and I'm going to show you what's what. Don't worry about this little fella here. I'll tell you all about him in uh, as time goes on. But let's, uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, little fella. You're going to have to just move out the way for the minute, because he won't fit in. The page will not fit in. Right, solo hunt time. What do I need for the book? I need Q Gardens. I need the WWF from 2011. A stack of Olympics, although I do have archery, fencing. No, equestrian, fencing. Hockey, table tennis, taekwondo, and triathlon. But I need all the others. Oh, and weightlifting. But I need all the other ones. Doing okay there. Uh, amazingly, I still need a Team GB from the Rio Olympics 2016. A Sir Isaac Newton, which is pretty scarce. And other than that, I'm, uh, I'm doing pretty good. Got all the 2018 potters, which, uh, you know, not, ama not amazingly co uh, common by any stretch of the imagination. Got a, a pedal duck. So I'm really pleased uh, with, with this, really. So if I get that Team GB out of the way, and then just need some of the, the more elusive ones. I'll give you a quick blast of the two pounds because I'm trying to get the, or a few oddities in here, uh, or, or non, non kind of UK coins that are found in previous solo hunts. So I'll give you a quick blast of the two pounds. It'll be probably a while before I do another two pound hunt, but I need the four Commonwealth Games, the Olympics from 1908, and the Rio handover. Underground Train, 2015 Britannia, and a World War I centenary. In the back there is uh, some fakes and some... Um, oh, I wonder, am I going to call that an NIFC? I know unofficially Christopher's trying to beat us with NIFC fines in 2021. So I wonder whether we class that as an NIFC. I better ask the boys, see what, uh, see what they think. But that is definitely an NIFC. The arm's just coming. But anyway, back to the 50 pences. Am I feeling optimistic? You know I'm not. It's a bit hit and miss. We've um, you, you might know that Lady M and I have been to Gibraltar. We just got back a, a few days ago, so we haven't been able to go to the uh, to the bank. But I was able to go to the post office, and I got seven hundred and fifty pounds worth of fifty pences, as well as five hundred pounds of two pound coins for uh, to do an hour, uh, probably Thursday hunts. I think two pound hunts. Um, and I'm a bit concerned because, or not optimistic, because I think for the post office to have seven hundred and fifty pounds worth of fifty pences. In not sealed and rolly over bags, I think someone has taken their coins back there and it will be the coins that they don't want. So it's very hit and miss. There's always a chance of a cash in as in someone's took their coin collection back. But I must admit I am not optimistic. But it can all change on the turn of a coin. So, less of the waffle. I've told you what's what. Let's have a little look at what we can uh, what we can find. Now, I'm going to do a bit of a zoom in, as is only me. I haven't got Lady M trying to hog the limelight. So, you're going to get to see a close close up of what I'm finding. Of course, I'm looking... Oop, tub. Make sure I've got a, got a tub. I'll be looking for the years as we go along. The, the, the NIFC years. Now, the light is... Oop, sorry. Bit out of focus there. Now, the light is not great. So my camera goes off in here because I haven't quite... A bit of a saga with the kitchen in week five now when the, and the kitchen still isn't quite finished. So the Magic Studio is a little bit of a makeshift kitchen. So there's not a lot of space in the studio at the minute. Yeah, that's not a good start, is it? A complete bust. Um, anyhow, and what it means is my lights, because we're getting the darker light and darker nights now and I'm filming this of an evening so I've had to get the lights out but I've only got one 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 out this one here so you might get some shadows sorry I'm not being I'm not being very disciplined am I coin disciplined so they can see what's going on bungle so yeah so I've only got one light and there's an there's an awful buzzing as well so I hope you can't hear that you can't hear that buzzing buzzing off the light so I'll be looking for the NIFC years as I go along but the way this is looking it is not looking promising, but you just never know. You never know. It can all turn on the flip 
of a coin, like I say. And, I, and, and one thing that does warm the cockles of my heart is that if um, they are throwbacks, then there's always a chance that people are just looking at the, at the coins, the, the, the pictures, the commemorative side of things. So they wouldn't necessarily look for NIFCs because it surprises me how few people looked for the not intended for circulation shields. So yeah, you're like, oh, it's another bust. Um, so there's always that chance, although I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling optimistic. Hmm. Now I have seen a commemorative coin at least, so there's one, there's one here. There's one I'm going to come up. Oh, that wasn't the one I saw, but hey ho. Right, where, where is it? Sorry, I'm zoomed in, Anna. I'm forgetting. I'm thinking I'm on the Lady M settings, so I have to zoom right in. There is public library. So public library is going to go there on the mat. Very common is public libraries. Over 11 million. A little bit rusty. Haven't needed to. No uh, mintage figures for a while because the mat we used to use had the mintage figures on it. There is Christopher Ironside. Passed away in 1992. And commemorated in 2013. That is a, one of his rejected designs for for coinage. You may know Christopher Ryan's side for things like the Britannia. So at least we've got something. Right, oh, and the other thing as well is because I'm filming it this way with the face cam and time is a premium at the minute, the videos, we have, we have actually missed a few a few upload days because Lady M and I have been so so busy or not available together. It also means I'm not editing this, so you might get your wish, or some people's wish, who like just to hear the clunking of the uh, the clunking of the coins. So you're probably going to see a lot of that because I can't edit it. What I might do is if it's rubbish, if it is rubbish all the way through, I might pull another bag out. Just want to show you this one. It's got a slight rotation error. I've seen this on quite a lot of 2019 shields so you can see the the corners don't quite line up so that there, there's that there's the kind of corner of the 50p and there's the there's the corner there so it's not quite there so it's not quite lined up there's a thicker edge there and a thinner a thinner edge there can you see so it's ever so slightly so when it went when the die stamped it it just shifted slightly and it does go, it goes like the clappers, the die. So yeah, slight rotation. Not valuable, I don't think. I've certainly seen them a lot uh, a lot more rotated than that. And you might get a, maybe a couple of pounds for one for people that like oddities and rotations. But that was nothing to, nothing to write home about, I don't think. And we'll be going back in with the rest of them back to the bank. Right, we'll just pause now. My bungle hopefully finds something good. There's a libraries. Another indicator that the high mintage coins have been thrown back so the low mintage coins taken out and the high mintage coins left in because dictionaries is round about 17 million can't remember exactly the figure off my head i did you saw i thought that was 2011 then ah there's a nice little tiggy winkle probably the plum so far eight million eight hundred thousand 2016 part of the beatrix potter set she's uh she's a lovely one I like her so I kind of remember how many dictionaries are. I think libraries, little oh, little mini set libraries, I'll just move them around, I'll show you at the end. Little mini set libraries and dictionaries, books and books. Oh, these are, yeah, this is, this is looking rough, this. This is looking rough, so this is looking like all Brexits. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, they're all Brexits. So my worst fears have been confirmed. I think this is someone's rejected bag. 
five back to back back to libraries. I think libraries is something like eleven million two hundred and sixty three thousand. And ooh, 2018, so it's bound to be a people act. Oh, Paddington at the palace. 5.9 million. So again, that probably fits with a throw it back so we're not keeping a coin of such high mintage. Anything over 5 million, maybe. And certainly it's not scarce at the minute. Plenty of Paddingtons around. So no, I can't remember how many dictionaries. 17 million 600 and something, I reckon. I can't remember off the top of my head. Right, come on. Let's see if we can get some luck. Another Brexit. Brexit coin number 21. Apologies if you can hear Ellie sing, and I did ask her, I know she was going in the shower, and I did ask her not to play any music or sing while I was gonna film. And I don't think she's playing any music, but I can hear her droning on above. So apologies if you can hear if you can hear that. Hopefully the rain that is dropping on the Magic Studio will drown out her dulcet tones. She gets a singing voice from me. Sorry, I really should be looking in the in the camera, shouldn't I, to make sure that these are in focus. That's another Paddington. Paddington at St. Paul's. Oh, of course, I put Paddington in a, in the corner, don't I, to make a Paddington corner. I forget which mat I'm using. It's, an, it's another commemorative, because 2019, got 50 pence on this side. Paddington at the tower. 9 million and 1,000 of them. That way around as well. There we go. Come on. You never know, maybe they, this, this coin hunter who I suspect's been here before me, maybe they got, they sorted them all out and got all the throwbacks sorted. And maybe they accidentally put back a bag of uh, commemoratives. Lady M, are you there, Lady M? Sorry if I just made you shout there. You couldn't just ask Ellie again, could you just not sing? Because I can, I can hear her through the, through the doodah. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Because even if you can't hear her, she's putting me off, putting me off my stride. You might also hear Sir Poochington going crackers shortly, because my sister is due round. And when she rings the doorbell, Sir Poochington will go crackerjack. There is Roger of the Bannister. 2004, was he? Yep. 9 million and 32,000 of Roger. And I think it's safe to say we haven't had any coins that are worth more than the 50 pence that's printed on them. I will confirm that, of course. A little look through. Yeah, I suppose Tiggy Winkle, you might if Tiggy Winkle was in nice condition. Maybe his Tiggy Winkle's worth 75p. If she was super shiny. Ha! Benjamin of the Bunny. I've actually never been so pleased to find Sir Benjington of Bunnington. Always have a look to see if anyone signed them. Or if you've got the Coin Patrol Edge inscription. Want to say a big shout out to uh, Ron M, who have actually found one of my. Benjamin bunnies that are signed on a solo hunt. So I've got a bungle and an S goes on the Benjamin bunnies that I find on my own. So we know it's different to the ones that I find with Lady M. And he found one and there's only oh, eight Emmys in circulation. And Ron was able to find one. So well done, Ron. And do keep your eye out, everybody. Check your change. Let's change that tub over. Check your change. Check your bunnies to see if anybody's anybody signed them just a bit of fun and it's just interesting to see what uh, where they where they turn up in the country so we'll be signing that bunny oh 2016 well oh will it be the team gb is it something for the book no it is peter rabbit 
So he's nine million and odd, 59.6 million. So again, another really high, here's another Paddy, another high mintage coin. Another Paddington at St. Paul's Cathedral there. It'd be nice to get the station or have the little mini set. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I'll give my back leg to every, anyone who wants it if that is a Kew Gardens. It is a Commonwealth Games. There was no chance of that being a Commonwealth, uh, being a Kew Gardens or a WWF when we've got basically, I think, somebody's throwbacks. Imagine. So still on the hunt for Team GB, so even with these high mintage ones and throw, throwback coins, still got a chance of one for the book. Another libraries. And another Tiggy Winkle. Oh, I didn't guess. I didn't guess how many Benjamin Bunnies I have to pay the Benjamin Bunny game with myself. So how many Benjamin Bunnies will I find in here? So this is possibly one, because that's another 2017. So I'll just have a look. He's a bit right there. So not cheating or anything. And I'm going to say we're going to find four, four Benjamin Bunnies. Oh, look, there's the second one. What is the, what is the chances of that? He's a bit dirty, this fella. He's a little bit mucky. There is Benji number two. He goes along the top of the mat. So I will show you at the end. I'll have a zoom out and show you how the mat is looking. Do play along at home as well. How many Benjamin Bunnies do you think I will find? And play against me. There is Sherlock, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Nearly nine million of them in circulation. So again, fits with the throwback idea. Oh, I tell thee what. I tell you what. Look at that. Get in. You absolute beauty. So I wonder whether this has been thrown back because it's not in the greatest condition. Can you see here? There's kind of a bit of muck here and a little bit of a uh, little bit of muck there. I mean, I doubt it would be crazy enough to throw a throw an Isaac Newton in. Get in. Stonker, plum, peach, whatever you want to call it. See, it just shows you I was convinced these were throwbacks but it doesn't half show you what you might find. So yes, one of, it, was, it probably was my favorite 50 pence. It's, maybe it's not so much now. I don't know why, whether I'm sticking myself off of it a little bit or because I just like the Olympics so much and I don't even like a particular, I think it's on its own coin. Yeah, it's definitely, it's certainly circulated. It's my favorite coin. But uh, yes, something for the book. Can you believe I found more Isaac Newtons and more Puddle Ducks than a Team GB? Unbelievable. Right, I'll zoom out a little bit for those that don't maybe don't need or like a close-up. There we go. There's the mat look. So Paddington Corner, basic finds in the middle. Benjamin Bunnies across the top. Any other 2017s go down here and the plums go on, on the bungle now. And who, who was it who suggested that? Someone did someone did say in the comments, because I, I did tend to put the plums there. What If the rest of the board was full, I put the plums there. But somebody suggested that I should do it regularly. On the regular, there's another Brexit. And I think, it, I think it's right. So that's what... Uh, that's what I'm going to do. Any plums or potential plum finds are going to go there. 2018. Oh, there's Paddington Station as well. Get in there. So Paddington Corner is complete. Them four Paddingtons in that said corner. <sighs> well, I certainly don't need that second bag. That's for sure. 
not with a completion of Paddington Corner and an Isaac, uh, whatchamacallum. Right, is this another bunny? Am I on my way to four? No, it's Tom Kitten. Don't look at his eyes, don't look at his eyes. Oh, honestly, I'm so pleased. So pleased to turn over, flip over an Isaac Newton. Just shows you, just shows you. What a day, what a day. What a hunt. What a bunny. Yes. Bunny number three. I get bonus points as well if it's if I get it bang on, remember. So if I do get it actually bang on. I mean, I'm already the closest of all the guesses. If I get it bang on, I get extra bonus points. Ooh, there's a nice Scouts. Don't get that too often. 7.7 .7 million, I think. I don't see it uh, Don't see it that often. I'm not considering the 7 million. Odd in circulation. There is Paddington at the Tower. Again, the Tower of London. I did... Ah, yes. I did hear once that... Oh, I thought... Do you know, I thought that was stamped for a second there, just in, in his hat. A little kind of mark like in his hat. I thought it was like a, an L for L and M when... We used to stamp these. We used to stamp a B on, or stamp an L and an M on, depending on who found it or who uh, who had the closest guess. But no, alas, just a scratch in his hat. That's four, so I am bang on and bang on. So we won't find any more now, I'm sure. What was I saying? Oh, there's another Christopher Ironside. The second one. Forgot what I was saying now. I haven't got Lady M to remind me what, uh, what it was I was waffling on about. Never mind. I'm sure it'll. Uh, I'm sure it'll come back to me. But maybe it won't have been that interesting. Four bags to go. I think I was going to say, has anybody bought? Let me know in the comments. One, how you've done in the Benjamin Bunny challenge, and also have you bought the two new coins that have just been recently released? The insulin one, and also the uh, the snowman which just came out yesterday at the time of filming. So I'll probably upload this on Sunday, so it'll have been out six days or so. Have we got it yet? I haven't decided whether I'm going to wait to see if any more come out this year and then order them, the three together, a third if another one comes out between now and Christmas to save the postage. Because I do get the... Um, the coins from Change Checker and take them out of their cardboard and plastic prison and put them in my date run. And it's two ninety nine for postage and packaging. But what they do if you buy more than one, then they divide the packaging, even though they might come at different times, the packaging cost is divided. So that's what I tend to do. Save them up a little bit. And I guess that uh, I have bought a few from the coin club, but they take a long time to come from the coin club, even though the coin club is cheaper. But they have the odd time I've done it has taken a long, long time to come. Although I'm not necessarily in a rush. Although I'm never in a rush, but when I order it, I want it as soon as. There's another Brexit. Be nearly 25 of them, I bet. In this hunt. Um, and of course, with Change Checker, Westminster, you got the chance of getting them trading cards and I still need five to complete set number five so I've got a chance of getting the trading card there's another Roger Bannister and we're on to the last bag the last really over bag can we beat can we beat a Newton doubt it can we get a team GB who knows are any of you guys stuck on a really common coin when you're doing your own coin hunting Oh, it's a bit like us. We found a, we found a Kew Gardens, Lady M and I, and and never found a football. So we found more Kew Gardens than we have footballs. Strange how it goes. Right, that is the end of the hunt. Let's review the the plum finds. Oop, have I gone too far? I think I probably have. There we go. So we've got four Benjamin bunnies. So get in. I'm gonna I'm gonna sign them sign them right now with a bungle S. So do keep a lookout for a bungle a bungle S. S for solo. It's nice to get it bang on like as well. Four. 
Yeah, I was pretty confident I was going to win. But to get bang on, it's just extra, extra points. Bungle Solo. Oh yeah, it could be Bungle Solo, I like Star Wars. Oh, that's dirty. Let's go over that again, I'm not sure that'll stick. Right, so they're, they'll go into circulation, there's four of them. Pretty much everything is a, is a basic find in the uh, in the middle for diddle there, but did did manage to complete Paddington Corner with Station, Palace, Tower and St Paul's. Too many Brexits to even care about. And we're gonna talk about this plum. Get in there, you absolute beauty. So it's not in the nicest condition, it's a little bit dirty. But I just, I mean, surely no one would throw back a 1,801,000 in circulation. Surely no one's gonna throw, throw a Newton back. Value-wise, maybe three or four pound. Probably not that much in this condition. But surely that is that you, you don't throw a Newton back in any, in, in no matter what condition it's in. Yes. So I'm gonna have to do a thumb. I'm gonna have to do a thumbnail, aren't I? I think that'll be the. I think that'll be the, the thumbnail. Looking at the camera. <laughs> of course, I can't see myself doing that, so I don't know how ridiculous that looked. Right, I'm definitely all done now. Big thank you to everybody watching us. Do stay tuned next week. Hopefully there'll be two hunts, a 50p hunt and a two pound hunt, Lady M and I, back to uh, normal schedule. And all being well, there might even be another hunt uploaded next Sunday with just me. Right, I need to turn you off. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.